This day and age, 2019 if you will, does it mean a single thing when one states, I am a Pink Floyd fan. I would argue not. There was a time, however, as a person who enjoys the pre-Dark Side of the Moon, post-Sid Barrett era, so very, very much. Uh, absolutely love their more experimental, especially improvisational nature, some of those live recordings. There's a moment, shall I say, moments, as this has occurred numerous occasions for me, this moment that I reflect upon now, I usually find myself mid-set, scanning the crowd, and there they are, I find them, that pair of women most enthusiastically drunk dancing, standing up, boogieing in their seats, singing along with all of their beer-laden gusto, shrieking, if you will, the chorus to Another Brick in the Wall, Part 2. And that is a painful moment brought to you by Be Nice. Enjoy that little thought, that little a treat that I bring you today as you ponder the rest of today's video offering. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy. And most of all, be nice. Hey YouTube, woke up this morning, uh, kind of a bad day for me, I had a three day gout attack, I'm in the middle of that, uh, and gout, when you have a, a gout attack, not a flare up, um, it hurts real bad, so I've got this sharp pain in my foot, I can't put any weight on my right foot, and it makes getting around even more difficult for me, um, so I really have not really moved much. In the past three days I've been sitting on the couch which that's my normal life because of my back injury I don't really move much I do get out once a week I do some shopping what my wife will hit a grocery store or maybe a resale store and then of course between four and six times a year I do go and make music in a remote location I play guitar and uh, we do that outdoors and then typically it'll be uh, anywhere between three to five days where I have to recline because of the fallout pain from me sitting on a stool playing guitar and there's that extra energy of walking around that one day when we get out so yeah I am I'm stuck here on this couch and one of the ways that I deal with that is by making YouTube videos so I don't necessarily make real short get to the point type of videos I speak a lot and this person uh, Mary Sunshine left a comment today on my was a video called Cary Grant force fed me LSD and it nearly killed me so I'll read you the comment you are right but you over explain things it's like details over details under detail crocheted into an infinity sign of details she didn't park the car straight all this because you read an article picked it apart from the lesson in what it means to be an alcoholic to this is what it means when she's overly affectionate to the dog um, again, a lot of this doesn't make sense to me. My God, you're too much for me. Dial it back. Good info, but think of breaking it down into smaller doses. Four exclamation points. Kind of like was your point with the drugs. See? Double question mark. Learn from your own lessons. I got to take something for a headache now from this vid. Good talk, but dial it back, please four exclamation points and then this person thumbed down my video which I don't care about thumb down I always say that oh I don't care about it it, do it does bug me a little bit I mean obviously someone's gonna uh, lash out and hit that button thinking that it's gonna affect your well-being but in all reality it doesn't YouTube's algorithm doesn't take into consideration the thumbs up or thumbs down so it doesn't really bother me it, it pisses me off that I would take, uh, you know, that particular video, I probably did four to six takes to get it down into what it is, a 20-minute thing. The first four or six takes were probably 26 minutes, 28 minutes of me talking, and then I, I was able to uh, slim it down and trim the fat and get it down just right. So we're talking a whole afternoon to make that video, and then whatever it took me to edit it together, 
Um, that particular video, there isn't a real lot of editing. Now, one of the things that I do, and what I, I just wanted to show you guys, I'm always talking about comment section negativity, and the, the, so I want to show you the process of when there is a negative comment of how that all goes down on my end. Okay, so we see here's the comment, and the next thing we do is we're going to go to that person's there we're going to click on their youtube channel and see well if they're complaining about me what do they have on their channel what makes them so big deal that they can attack me in such a format and lay into me because certainly if they're if they're going to tell me how how horrible i am that must mean that they have a really good youtube channel and they're above all of the mistakes that I'm making, especially this particular type of comment section negativity where they're really kind of giving me advice and telling me what's wrong with me. So let's take a look over at this Mary Sunshine. Okay, what do we got? We've got one, two, three, four videos. Okay, four videos. We got a picture of a kid. So maybe Mary Sunshine's actually four years old. Maybe I should give this person a break. And we got man saves wife from being beaten by off-duty firefighter while making trouble. You see, okay, here's a massive paragraph in the, in the description. And then who's commented on it twice? Oh, another huge set of paragraphs by the same person. Hmm, look at that. Maybe I'm dealing with someone who needs to take a bit of their own advice. Oh, and here's the same video, posted twice. So good, we need two copies of it. Another massive paragraph. And then what else do we have here? We've got, oh, I want to show you who, what hurt me. Oh, can't look them in the eye. And then, of course, we have use of the starving child image. we got to have that. What do we got here? we got a bum. Got a homeless guy with his dog. Oh, poor doggy. And then we've got the, the wirehead kid. That that lo looks about like my dream job right there, by the way, that kid. Oh, whoa, what do we got here? Dreams of nature. We've got a very skinny looking kind of underage pornography. Whoa. So yeah, that's what we got. It's okay to, uh, that's what we need. Uh, we, I need to dial it back because to make room for those four exceptional videos. And this is what I'm talking about every time that I end up with some, uh, some joker in here laying into me yelling and kicking and screaming about something in my video, I will go to their channel and that's what I see. It used to always be no videos. Now uh, we run into a different thing where the people says, I'm going to have a YouTube channel. And they do, usually it'll be that magic number, four or six videos where they did that. They thought that they were going to get 100 million views on their first video and they got six. And five of them was themselves and the other one was their mom. So I'm going to say it again, let's be nice in the comment section, let's leave the heavy lifting to the pros, uh, and by that I don't mean myself because I'm a hack, uh, but basically the adults are having a talk so the kids need to go into the yard and play.